So recently I did um, a program for reversing a string as a, as a request. And I was thinking, how could I, I use this? And I thought, oh, palindromes. We do palindromes at school quite a lot. So a palindrome is a word that is spelt the same both ways. So race car is a good example of a, of a palindrome. So I've got the function that I'd written previously that reverses the string. And I thought I can do something with this. So I find a palindrome one. So what happens? We've got palindrome as being a true or a false as a boolean. Declare the string the reverse string. It asks for a phrase, and then I call that reverse string function as before. So there's the reverse string function, exactly the same as before, and it just returns that reverse string. Um, back into main. I then call the palindrome function, sending it to the original string and the reverse string. So that's just going to be a comparison. So if the two are the same, it returns true, otherwise it returns false. And then if we look at the output, all we're doing is output whether something is a palindrome or not. So if we, uh, if we step through it, we'll get the variable window open at the same time. So we'll do a, an obvious palindrome to start off with. So we'll do race car as you can see R A C E R A C E is a palindrome so we'll step into the program mm -hmm. let's move this to one side okay it's reversing the string as you can see it's happening up here it's called the palindrome function it is a palindrome so it's returned it and it said race car and race car palindrome status is true. So let's do something um, that's not a palindrome. So let's do uh, fish, clearly not a palindrome. So it will reverse the string. Oops, I pressed enter. So it reverses the string. calls a palindrome it's not a palindrome those two don't match job done here we go so nice simple program using that reverse function to be a bit more useful to check whether a word is a palindrome or not